Every year, we like to welcome our local schools to share our knowledge and learn all about conservation. Up at Misty Peaks Reserve, we have an awesome group discussion about the peninsula's cultural history, geology, and the fauna and flora that used to be here. Once we get to Pohatu, it's morning tea time already. We use our historic farmhouse that was built in the 1860s. We meet the local residents and then get stuck into building some new homes for our little blue neighbours. And random dance off. So we're working on a new design, one we think our penguins will like better. We've also upcycled an old fan belt from a car, using it as a hinge so we can open up the nest box lids for our weekly monitoring program. These guys made nine new boxes for our colony. Yay! We have a few areas still on the farm that would make perfect habitat for korora. So we earmarked a penguin neighbourhood we call Naboo for the new nest boxes. It's a bit of a climb and hard work to carry all these boxes uphill, but teamwork made the dream work. Alright, the next stage, where are we going to place them? Kurura, little penguins we found at Pohatu, fight less if you spread their houses apart. They want a bit of privacy from their neighbours, but still like to live in a community like us. After all that hard work, definitely time for lunch. Their teachers lead with a karakia. Then after, Joey tests their knowledge. They had a great discussion talking about little blues and white flippered penguins, Canterbury's unique colour more. Now part of our long term demographic and population study of our little kurora, the kids are observing what they're seeing and they're going to be writing it down. A great group discussion about their observations. The really special part of coming to Pohatu is learning all about the Marine Reserve. We had some in-depth discussions about marine protection and why we might need it. But then, of course, it's just fun to enjoy the beach. Thanks, guys, for being kurura kaitiaki. <laughs>